words. They don't just communicate thoughts. They reveal the hidden things in our hearts. They don't just communicate ideas. They create worlds. The mouth and the words we say are a creative force that is not only used all the time, but everywhere we go. Our words are the very essence of how the Creator made us. Join us as we discover the essence of man and the power of speech. Hello, welcome to the Essence of Man and Power of Speech. We are on day 154 and we're talking about uh, the slandering serpent. Now, uh, what I want us to do today is go to one of my favorite books. I love Genesis, Bereshit, uh, Genesis 1, 2, and 3. I love those three chapters because in there is so much stuff. Matter of fact, you can go to some of the videos and watch Genesis. Uh, what's in the beginning but <clears throat> what I want us to do is look at the serpent for a minute because this serpent slandered his creator we don't think about that but the serpent was created by God and he slandered his creator okay now the serpent was Genesis 3 says now the serpent was more cunning than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made and he said unto the woman yea hath God said ye shall not eat of the tree of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may not eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the, free of the, uh, but the, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden. Uh, God has said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For God doth know that in the day that ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil now. So right there, he was slandering God. Um, <clears throat> uh, Bereshit Rabbah 19.4 says this, The serpent began speaking slander of his creator, saying, He, God, ate of this tree and created this world. So in other words, look, God ate of this very tree. That's how he created the world. And he therefore ordered you not to eat thereof, so you will not create other worlds. So God doesn't want you to eat of this tree, because if you do, you'll be able to create other worlds. And every craftsman hates his own competitors. So this is what the serpent is saying. Look, God doesn't want you to eat of this tree, because you will be creating worlds like he did. And every craftsman hates his own competitors. In other words, we don't want anything to be equal to us or better than us. We don't want any kind of competitor in this market of creating the worlds. And so, uh, you know, hey, see, see this gossip, this slander created something in Eve. And what it created in her was actually a form of bitterness, to be brutally honest with you, and a jealousy. All because of gossip and slander. Now, mind you, everything was perfect. There was no adultery. There was no fornication. There was no drunkenness. There was no murder. That didn't come till chapter 4. But what caused the whole world to live in wickedness? Slander. Gossip. Something that wasn't true. A different view of the truth. And as a result, somebody listened. This is the best example I can give you of why listening to gossip is just as evil. Because when somebody says something that's evil about somebody, it's hard to forget what they said. You think about that and you, you ponder that. And if you get into a business dealing with them or something like that, then you begin to remember, what. well, should I trust them or not? And this and that and the other. Wow. But here's the thing. Notice it said, 
when the Lord starts dealing with folks, notice it says this. Um, unto the un, uh, and um, let's see. And the Lord said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle. Um, above every beast of the field, upon on thy belly thou shalt go, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed, and it shall bruise thy head, and he shall bruise thy uh, uh, heel, his heel. Talking to this is the first prophecy of the Messiah. So notice from this day forward, not many people like snakes. And so it is when a gossiper has turned on you or you found out to uh, found out that a person is a gossiper what begins to happen is you begin to not want to be around that person you distance yourself from them people come to loathe the gossip monger and keep their distance from him lest he speak evil of them You show me a person without many friends, I'll show you a person that's a gossiper, a slanderer. And this is the thing about it. You don't have to be that way. Simple. You don't have to be that way. I'll read this to you one more time. The serpent began speaking slander of his creator, saying, He, God, ate of this tree and created this world. He, God, therefore ordered you not to eat of the tree thereof, so you will not create other worlds. For every craftsman hates his competitor. God didn't hate them. God loved them. So much so. God loved the world that he gave his only begotten son who served belief in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Gossip brings death. Okay? And so, let it not be deemed among us the slandering serpent. Don't be one. Hey, we'll see you next time on The Essence of Man, The Power of Speech. Have a good one.